everybody, my name is Gregory Scott and this should have been your monthly forecast for March 2016. Instead, it's going to be a forecast for the remaining two weeks in March. So, usually I choose four cards, one card to represent each week of the month, and then I choose a final card to give you the overall theme. But instead, this time around, I'm going to choose two cards. The first card is going to show you what's going on in the week from the 14th of March until the 20th of March and then the second card will be about the 21st until the 31st so the end of the month those 10 days and then I'll choose a final card to give you the overall theme for this fortnight so I'm using the Radiant Right Away deck I'm going to choose my two cards here and let's see what's coming up okay so week three of March is really about what I'm getting is real clarity on something. There's something that has been kind of nebulous, that has been unclear in your life. Um, there's been lots of possibility, lots of potential, um, a situation where the options have really, really opened up for you. And what I get in uh, this third week of March is that, first of all, your vision clears uh, you become you have a much sharper image of what is going on and what that does is it allows you to make a decision and the decision is about do I stay or do I go so the things that have been unclear uncertain up until now really really come into focus and you're able to choose in the fourth week of March we've got one of my favorite cards we've got the star and the star is about detoxing the negative. You can see this beautiful young woman pouring away these um, these jugs of water and that re represents feelings, negative feelings, things that need to be detoxed, things that need to leave the system. She's vulnerable and by doing this kind of cleansing, this healing, she's really able to um, become vulnerable and let her real light shine. Got these stars. So it's about meeting or kind of fulfilling your potential, but it's also a great sign for hope for the future. So this decision that you make, this clarity that you have in week three, really allows you to, one, feel better at the end of March about what's coming up. You have hope for the future. There's light at the end of the tunnel. And really, you're able to let go of some of the negativity that may have been around at the beginning of March. So you really, really end this month on a high note. Let's have a look at what the overall theme here is. And it's the Six of Cups. And what I'm getting for this card today is letting go of something that you really loved so that you can replace it with something better. That's what everything is about here. This card, first of all, the Eight of Cups, Someone is walking away from something that seems really good to pursue something that's uncertain, but that will be even better. There's no certainty involved here. Okay, Things become clearer and things look up, which means you're walking into a brighter future. This card, the right way around, represents a real connection with something, a heartfelt meeting of the minds, meeting of the souls, and something that you genuinely extend yourself towards and something that you genuinely love. In reverse here, it means that um, you replace something like that for something even better. So really have faith, trust that in your life the best is yet to come, that these last two weeks of March are really, really important and really, um, it's really a fortnight of seeing things for what they are, seeing them much more clearly, having positive, beneficial outcomes as a result of that, and letting go of things that do not serve you, and embracing the things that will serve you in future. So very, very positive. I hope that gives you an idea of what you'll be working with here at the end of March. If you'd like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. We can look at your career, your love life, spirituality, family, anything that might be on your mind at the moment. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll be here with you for the daily tarot readings and for the monthly astrology readings.